Any number of actions, if done to or with an underage minor, constitute a crime. But what if the offender honestly and reasonably believes that the person is of age? The Supreme Court of California considered that question in People v. Olson. Sean M., a 13-year-old girl, was sleeping in her family's camper in the driveway while house guests stayed in her bedroom. One night, Sean's father, Mr. M., went out to the camper and caught Edward Olson having sex with Sean while James Garcia watched. Olson and Garcia tried to flee, and Mr. M. grabbed Olson. Garcia then stabbed Mr. M. in the shoulder. At Olson and Garcia's trial, Sean testified that Garcia was her boyfriend and that Olson was a friend. But that night, Garcia had somehow gotten into the camper and threatened Sean with a knife. Garcia said he'd stab her if she didn't have sex with Olson. Sean resisted, but Olson proceeded to have sex with her, during which her father walked in. Garcia's testimony differed. He claimed that he and Sean had previously had consensual sex, and that on the night in question, Sean wanted to have sex with both Garcia and Olson. Garcia denied threatening Sean with a knife or forcing her to have sex with Olson. Sean admitted that she told both Olson and Garcia that she was over 16 years old and that she looked older than 16. The trial court rejected Olson's defense that he in good faith believed that Sean was over 14. Olson was acquitted of burglary, forcible rape, and committing lewd or lascivious acts by force. But he was convicted of committing lewd or lascivious acts on a child under the age of 14. The Supreme Court of California took up the case. 